How's it going, everyone? Coach Vart, Coach Abe here again with uh, with our guys from Push Performance, uh, DJ and Joe. Um, we've had a great relationship over the last few years, um, having our players work with them. Um, Push Performance has a facility both in Colorado and Arizona, also able to uh, offer our players some remote training because obviously this summer is going to be pretty busy with us with a lot of traveling across the country. So it's not always going to be easy to, to find a gym or be with your personal trainers um, from home. So um, we wanted to introduce these, these two gentlemen um, who've, who've worked, you know, with countless of our athletes in the past, guys like Hunter Bishop, guys like Carter Aldretti, um, both playing uh, professionally and have done great with uh, both our high school and, and college players. So um, DJ, just want to introduce you real quick and, and give you a chance to talk to our guys and, and give them the rundown of what, uh, what push can offer. Yeah. Thanks Bart. Um, what is this our third year, fourth year together, third year, something like that. That's yeah, pretty cool. I mean, I've, I've become pretty good friends with you guys, traveled to Florida, had fun with you guys. And Joe's been on a couple of trips. He's, he's on the call too. Um, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, so we're, we're, you know, this is something we love to do truthfully. I mean, we just want to help kids out and get the word out there, but what we are is a baseball specialized facility or program, I guess you would say, with focusing on player development, um, built built by baseball players for baseball players is the biggest thing. Um, so everybody in our staff, you know, played high level baseball for the most part. Um, you know, our biggest thing, the where we separate ourselves is just the attention to detail, um, you know, customization of each program. You know, a lot of people say they customize stuff, but at the same time, it's just like because you change one or two exercises, it's not actual customization it's you know what does the athlete truly need how are we going to get them to perform better on the field you know there's a why behind everything we're doing and that why is to get you to perform better right you got to realize that you're a baseball player first you're not a weightlifter you're not a power lifter you're not a strong man you're not a you know you're not a bodybuilder so you know you got to train accordingly you know and that's something that we notice in, in in the industry as our staff is like a lot of people just train you know, off air, we were just talking about how kids train with football as with football coaches, um, how they just do bodybuilding programs, whatever it may be. But in the long run, it's like, is your ultimate goal to be a bodybuilder or a baseball player? You know what I mean? So our biggest thing for us is to provide those those basis of knowledge and programs for each athlete. And whether that be in facility or at home, um, either one of our facilities are at home. So it depends on what your goals are and we can help you achieve that for sure. Joe, you got anything on that? Yeah, the remote works really well, especially in summer um, with everyone traveling around, you know, everyone's got different schedules. Um, it kind of conforms to your schedule. So it fits in, you know, we communicate with all our athletes, all our remote athletes. Hey, I'm on the road this week. Okay. Send us a video of your hotel gym. Okay. We're going to get as much done as we possibly can. Okay. We're back home. We we're back in the gym. We can get back to our regular program, things like that. We go through obviously workouts, you know, we're training specifically but we also do recovery. We do speed work, uh, mobility, kind of this whole and grooving program that's going to help you achieve those goals that you want. For sure. I mean, the biggest, the biggest thing like you mentioned was the fact that you can do it, you know, everywhere. Right. You mm -hmm. know, and the biggest, the biggest thing for us is, you know, so many kids stop training in season, you know, and that's something we don't want to, we, we don't want to happen in the summer where, where it's really hot. You guys are losing weight, all that kind of stuff. So it's like, if you're missing workouts while you're not, while you're traveling, that's going to be, how many, how many weekends are we play in the summer, Bart? Man, uh, pretty much every weekend we're finding, we're finding something. So but, uh, Friday, like Friday four, to Sunday, to Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Four, so four that, five that's, tournaments yeah. starting usually Thursday, finishing Sunday or Monday. So, so that's four schedule. days. That's at least a minimum of what around twenty five days lost if you're not in the weight room this summer. Yeah, you know, in a, in a three in a three month span, there's a lot of development there that's going to be lost. You know what I mean? So, um, if you put it in that context, that's that's kind of alarming. You know, and you know, guys are gonna the guys that want it, you know, are gonna do it, and the guys that want to, you know, just kind of want to just do it for fun, don't care, which is great if you don't want to play college baseball. But when you get to that that campus or you get the pro ball you have to lift before a game. Like it's ine inevitable. You have to lift after a game. You know, you have to lift on an, on an off day. You just, you know, fit it in when you can. That's the biggest thing for us. 
Joe? Yeah, I think, uh, okay. I, I think, sorry, I think the, uh, the important thing for you guys to realize is that you're making an investment in yourself. You know, like DJ said, yeah. you know, how, how long do you want to play this game? How far do you want to play this game? Um, something like this at, at, at this point of your career, obviously playing in this program with us, this is when you need to make that decision. Um, you know, if you're content being a high school baseball player, um, push and, and our program probably are not for you. Uh, but if you do have aspirations of playing college baseball, professional baseball, um, this becomes almost a non-negotiable for, for a lot of you guys to, to take that next step because you're not going to be able to out-talent your way um, to power through this if you're physically weak. Uh, it just doesn't work like that. And we're seeing, um, you know, what guys like DJ and Push are doing uh, at facilities all around the country. So you have to make a decision uh, what you want to do with your baseball career. And again, I think it really starts with in-season training. Uh, you put in all that work in the off-season. The last thing we want to do is see you guys start to, again, just gradually lose weight throughout the summer. And then in the fall, you have to start over again from, from square one. Um, it's a, it should be a progression where you continually get stronger, maintain, get stronger uh, season to season. Again, if you do nothing in the summer, you're going to take two steps forward and you're going to take three steps back. Yeah. And it's honestly, you know, how many times Joe have we heard kids say, I don't want to be sore for the game. I don't want to get sore. Right. It's if you did the work leading up to this point for one, you're not going to be sore. Right. It's a, like you just said, Abe, it's a progressive, you know, progressive strategy for two. If you are getting sore in season, you're doing the wrong program, you know? So our goal, you know, I'm, we're not, bashing anybody like there's great facilities out there you know but if you can train to get better you can definitely train to get worse you know you got to learn how to manage your stressors you got you know two different stresses in your body you got to increase your good stress and decrease the bad stress and you got to know how to do that you know that whether it come from either you know i talk about nutrition all the time i'm i'm got on guys in the dugout joe's on guys in the dugout about eating and drinking during the games you know when it's 110 degrees here in arizona or in florida in the humidity or georgia or wherever we're at you know, there's a lot of, a lot of fluids being lost. So, you know, yeah, no, no wonder why the last thing you want to do is go work out after the game. You know, like you feel like crap because, you know, you're malnourished, you're malnourished. You have, you spend it a lot of, a lot of energy. And the last thing you want to do is go work out. And that could just be, you know, inhibited by just, or you, you it prevented by you just having better nutri nutrient dense foods, better electrolytes in your body during the game. So that's stuff we help with as well. And DJ, sure. is that yeah, you, you can help these guys with, with some nutrition plans too. That's something that that's available yep. to them. Because obviously yep. eating on the road, eating on the road is as tough as anything. We talk about, you know, finding time to work out and, you know, gym space and working out in your in your hotel room. But, you know, I, I think we've all experienced it to some degree in our, in our playing careers. But when you're on the road and you're not home and mom's not cooking for you, it can be really tough um, to eat healthy and eat the right things and, uh, supplement everything that you're doing so that's something that you guys would be able to uh, to provide them as well correct yes sir yeah we have we have a on-staff nutritionist which is actually my wife um, so if we have customized nutrition plans that way but at the same time when we're at the field with you guys we're going to recommend this this and this but you know how many times have kids just like screw that I'm not eating that like I'm going to go to in and out I'm going to go do this I'm going to go to firehouse I'm going to do that Right. Like it's just, you know, it's actually something that truly matters. And that's why we care. Like we're going to give you recommendations. If you're at the gas station on a road trip, get this instead of this. Right. You know, if there's only a McDonald's and a gas station in the vicinity of where you're at in a small town, like go, go to the gas station, get some beef jerky and like uh, coconut water instead of a soda and a Big Mac. You know what I mean? So it's, you know, it's just kind of learning your life choices with your nutrition. And that's something that we're, we're huge on. And, you know, your body's literally built in the kitchen. And, you know, you, when you're, when you're lifting weights and you're playing baseball, those are burning calories, right? So if you're trying to gain weight or under, if you're undersized trying to gain weight, like we got to catch up to those calories in a good way, you know, and if we're not doing that with the nutrition, then we're just going to keep on getting skinnier and skinnier, no matter if you are lifting in season. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Um, I wanted to touch, I mean, I think there's a lot of misconceptions about lifting in season and it's always going to be heavy. Um, you know, it's going to create some soreness, obviously doing the prep work is going to 
probably avoid a lot of that soreness. But in our program, we meet a lot of kids where they are. Um, so, you know, if you're not ready to do a heavier lift before a game, we're not going to do a heavier lift before the game. You know, we're going to be where you're at and we're going to kind of track this progression with you and try to build you up over the course of the season. Yeah. So it's not just shooting fish in a barrel, right? It's there's actual, there's actual science behind why you're at where you're at. And if you, if you are behind, that's fine. Like we can still catch up in season, you know, and how many times have we have seen guys, Abe, that have been out there and they're like, you know, skinnier kids, like throwing 81 to 85, 83, 85, 85, 87, you know, like if they put any kind of strength, stability pace on it behind them, like they'd easily be, a 90 plus mile an hour arm just because their arm action, the playability, all that stuff. You know, we've had stud athletes in our program that I've seen, you know, you know, a couple of guys and think top of my head, I'm not going to mention them, but like their bats would go backwards and they hit with an absolutely gorgeous swing. You know what I mean? So it's just like the perfect swing, but they just can't get to the ball on plane because the bat's just going to go backwards because they're still on the strength or, you know, they don't have that movement that movement quality but they're elite movers elite athletes in general you know so um yeah this is probably the biggest part of baseball development that has come around in the last what are 10 years i would say you know this is a huge thing there's a reason why this has been invested in the major league organizations and why guys are getting paid to to do this now you know um this is something that orgs invest in this is something that schools invest in all that kind of stuff. And then looking in college, like if you're going to, if you're, if you're looking at a college and you don't ask what they do for baseball development, you know, in the weight room on the, on the data side or whatever it may be, like you're, you're missing the boat there as well. Sure. Yeah, hey, definitely. Do you have anything you wanted to add? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, again, just, just kind of that, that whole piece, right. It's, it's, it's all a part of it the weight training, the nutrition, the, the baseball skill training, all of those go into making you a, a better baseball player, a better athlete to give yourself that opportunity to play at the next level. And what these guys just touched on is there's, there's no excuses. Um, they have many different ways for you to train, to take care of your body, right? Whether it's, again, grabbing the right thing to eat at, at a grocery store, at a gas station, or finding a way to at your Airbnb, hotel, wherever you're staying, finding a way just to get something in. Uh, and, and I know these guys will work with you. And again, they're, you know, they didn't touch on it. their track record. Um, it's one of the more uh, impressive facilities in the country guys. And we're fortunate enough to have a relationship with them over the last few years. Uh, but now they are the premier uh, place to train for pro and college guys uh, and high school guys alike in Arizona and Colorado. Um, so again, please take advantage of, of some of the things they're saying. Um, whether you have a lifting, <clears throat> excuse me, you have a lifting program you've done or something you're comfortable with, bring it to these guys. And, and like Joe said, they're going to meet you where you're at and continue to make those steps going forward. Cause again, uh, uh, cannot, uh, say enough how important this is for your development, especially in the summer guys understand these college coaches, uh, now that they'll be able to, uh, be back on the road. They might not see you at the first event. They might see you at the end of July. Uh, and if you're not taking care of your body those first seven weeks, they're going to see a completely different player uh, and probably not one that, that you want to be showcasing for the first time in front of your dream school. So uh, just understand how that works and, and how much that goes into play with some of this stuff. Yeah, if you're, bought, if you're showing up at the beginning of the summer and the end of the summer or even at the end of the fall looking the exact same, scouts notice that, you know? That's the biggest thing. Like they, the scouts know who's putting the work in and they look who's working hard and they know who's not, you know, if you're the exact same player throwing the exact same speed, you know, throwing, you know, hitting, having the exact same exit below as you were earlier in the year and later in the year, there's no projection for you, you know, period. That's just how it is. It's kind of right. ruthless, you, but sorry. I mean, yeah. true. <laughs> and and right. even worse are the guys that go backwards. You know, if you open up yep. the summer in the upper eighties, uh, and then all of a sudden they see you in the fall and it's, you know, kind of mid eighties um, there, there's no bigger red flag in this game uh, than again, like a guy that's peaked or a guy that's going backwards. Um, because again, there, there are too many, too many options, too many ways for you to, to continue that development to, to continue. So I guess guys just understand if, if there's a will, there's a way, you know, if that's something you really want to do uh, it, it can be all lip service uh, until you put into action and make a commitment to, to again, something like this.
And there's and there's too many good players out there, right? Like, why is somebody going to spend time on a, a righty throwing 85 to 87, truthfully, you know? Mm-hmm. Unless they're mm-hmm. absolutely metrically un, yeah. unbelievable, you know? Like, our, our velo board for freshman, true, right? Yeah, but if he's 85, 87 as a junior, we're doing something wrong, you know? We're in trouble. So, yeah, you know, um, you know, our velo board here in Arizona, you, the minimum – you that we take the top 10 velos the minimum number on that velo board is 96.2 that's high school college and pro guys so there's 10 more guys just in our facility throwing 96.2 and up you know so think about that on a larger scale of where guys are you know we have how many guys we have 95 plus this year joe in colorado alone just in our facility from all ages six to ten guys and i mean mean, that is a little bit different um obviously but yeah um it's it's a mandatory thing now for guys you have to train in season you have to do this it's it's a part of it and if you're yeah. missing it you're gonna miss the boat and you're gonna be left behind 100 percent. well hey i will uh i'll get this thing wrapped up but just some things i, I kind of wanted to to finish with is you know for us with with trotsky baseball even myself our, our job is to provide you guys and provide our players with you know, the best tournaments with the best development, the best coaching, um, you know, the most opportunity recruitment wise. And for us guys, this is just a whole nother level for us where we're trying to help provide you guys in the best training, the best strength training, the best speed training, the best out there. So um, that's our job to do it. And and one thing I've always said throughout my coaching career is, is the amount of time you put in the weight room is just extending your career on the back end. Um, so, you know, the, the longer you want to play, the hours you're putting in today are just letting you play this game that much longer in the back. And maybe you're playing more for your collegiate team. You're on the field more often. Um, maybe you extend your career and are able to get drafted and play professionally. But the time and the hours you spend now that maybe even, you know, for you young guys, you don't see immediate results. I can I can promise you. You're, you're extending that career at the end of your high school into college, into professional baseball and stuff like that, based on the time that you guys are putting in today. Our, you know, we're lucky enough in our program that all you guys are talented. Uh, we have a lot of talented players, uh, but this is a separator, definite game changer for, for our guys. Um, so take advantage of it. You know, use Joe, use DJ as resources, just like you would use myself and coach Abe um, from the college side or, you know, just the baseball playing side. Use push performance uh, to, to just get your game to that next level because, you know, I think that's one thing that we're all looking for is to be able to separate, you know, have our players, have our program separate amongst the elite. You know, that's one thing Coach Trotsky talks about a lot is, is that separation amongst the elite, and, and these guys will help you get there. So we've seen it firsthand. We've seen it with our players. Um, so they come with the highest recommendation from, from our program, from myself and, and Coach Abe. So. Um, really, guys, appreciate it, Joe. Appreciate your time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, thanks for, for taking the time out of your day. Talk to our guys. We'll make sure to get this out. Of course. To and if you guys have, and, yeah, if they want to, if they want to reach out, yeah, if they want to reach out to us, just email us at pushperformanceco9 at gmail.com. Perfect. So that's the best way. I mean, that Joe and I both have access to that. Just title it DJ or Joe and one of us can help you out and, you know, feel free. Like we have unlimited access on the email. We're able to help you out, whether that be just some couple of basic questions or getting you started on a program or nutrition or whatever it may be. So it's push performance co nine at gmail.com. Yeah. Hey guys, and make sure you let them know that, that you're with the Chosky program too, yep. just so, uh, yep. so that we know they'll take care of you. Yep. For sure. Awesome. All right, guys. Appreciate it guys. Awesome. Great to see you guys. You too. Good to see y'all. All right.